Bang Productions. I'm sitting here with the great John Edmonds Cosma, CEO of Bang Productions to my right. Jamie Klump, a Canadian reject to my left, representing celebrity <laughs> boxing. And I am the great one, the big man himself, Gerard Heron. You've seen me on my not one, but two national tours, Jamie. While you hang out in your mother's basement, I'm filling up seats all across the country in comedy shows that you couldn't even afford to be a busboy at. Hey, I'm also doing well in Call of Duty, Gerard. You missed that point, so that tells me you don't do your homework like so, you do. So, once again, you're talking when you should be looking. Before we go over the final look at what's the evening, I got a butt. question for you. Who wants a free t-shirt? You can't. That lady over there was the, throw one that way. Who wants a free t-shirt? Put your hands up. <laughs> What a great toss by Emily. Clearly the best athlete in the ring tonight, all night. Oh, my God. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> this is what the people really came for, folks. Are, they, are they throwing out Sandman t-shirts after that? As I stated loss? before, Get this, a of this is the guys. final battle of the evening. The Latin lover. And it's for the, the Celebrity Boxing Federation Heavyweight Championship. This should be Catfish In the corner Cruz. to my right. He should have skipped all this and Back gone straight to the heavyweight. 265 Boxing pounds. 71. Formerly from West Philadelphia. But going anywhere he pleases. Give it up for the beast. Ian Grant. So there's the beast formerly from Pennsylvania. But goes anywhere he wants. He's changed his tune a little bit. But I think here comes the big introduction for the Latin lover. Let's hear it for Hazel Roche! And now, representing Puerto Rico, he is from the North Philadelphia. He is the defending, reigning, Latino heavyweight, celebrity boxing, Hazel, the Latin lover! Roche! What is it with all your uh, Latin champions? They, they need uh, somebody to, to say their name for them? I understand there may be a language barrier here. Just like you, how you struggle with English being Canadian yourself. But why do they need somebody to say their names? I don't understand. There was Josh Cologne couldn't say his own name. There's... There is uh, Roche here, can't say his own name. Why do they need the people to say their name for Well, him? that's because they say their name with enthusiasm when they're proud of you, Gerard, because when people introduce you, they go, oh, no, it's just Gerard. So you're not used to this acclimating for these characters, but people are proud of their stature and their stance in celebrity boxing. And Hazel, the Latin lover, Roche, defines the world as our world champion, our Latina world champion. And I think there's no way the beast from Planets Unknown... Cole Three Cole rounds, Cole celebrity boxing, away from federation... Hazel. Heavyweight Championship action. So someone just gave their review of the fight, pre-fight review. They said we're it better be good, and we're expecting it to be an explosion. Waiting on that long-awaited ring bell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some explanation from Celebrity Boxing how an icon like Catfish Cooley doesn't skip all this and go straight to the front of the line and fight for the heavyweight title. That's not how a main event works in combat sports, Gerard. Main events are usually near the end of the match, not the beginning. The hazel nuts. And he's going blow for blow in the stomach earlier on. Hazel, the nuts, Roche. lover. Versus Ian Grant. Ian standing strong in the middle of the ring. Ian taking the, Ian taking the punches. Ian's like, a, hey, Ian's like a statue out there. He's like tough. Hazel better look out. Oh, nice. Oh, no, a little hip flip. toss from Ian Grant. Roche, night on his feet getting on the ground. Ian's a little, he, hey, Ian, they call him cock strong back where I come from. <laughs> Ian's all right. I like Ian. Ian's got a lot of fire to him. Roche. Roche's probably going to lean on some sort of technicality here like the rest of these celebrity uh, boxing just, champions. It was just a simple uh, headgear adjustment, and Roche's right back in the match, landing some massive punches. Massive punches. Those were massive. Roche is like a celebrity eyes. hugging. Look at oh. him. He tripped him. He's Ian the celebrity Grant hugging champion. Are you kidding me? Stand there and take a punch. Ian Grant will put this thing under. You know, in Canada, trips two minutes in the penalty box, and that might be a point deducted for the beast, Ian Grant, because Hazel Roche... Will not be fooled. Ian's, by these a hey, Ian's like Michael Grant. He's like a damn. He 
Ian's, Ian's built. I think Ian's ready to take the championship, and Roche doesn't want any is part he, of it. Is he on Michael the ground Brown's twice? Little brother, I mean, on the ground twice. And here we go. Here's the favorite part of the show again. You shut your mouth, Clomp. There's greatness in front of you again. Oh my gosh! You've talked every segment when they came out, Gerard. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Well, the, gir the girls are reminding us we're now in round two, two of three. If you're counting at home, the Latin lover getting some advice from his corner. Lee and Grant, he doesn't listen to no one. No corner man. He just does everything on his own. Are we going a full three rounds, folks? Round one, I got to give the Ian Grant pretty easily there. But who knows with these judges? Hey, which one could fog a mirror the best? Easily, easily the guy. I got, who, who I got arms bigger than his legs. Are you kidding me? I got arms better than this guy's up the whole I don't camera. want to hear any more mess out of you. I got arms bigger than his legs. But you just missed it, Gerard. No respect to the Latin lover as he threw a couple of massive punches up against the beast, Ian Grant. You can't move the beast. Look at him standing there in the middle of the ring, taking everything that he's got. And, and what are we doing now? What are we doing now? I don't know what the ref's being offended. Let them fight, ref. Let them fight! Let them fight! What are we doing? And I think we had a, a mouth guard. We're checking in on the uh, five-second rule again. Here we go again. Here no we go cares again. about infections here at Celebrity Another boxing. technicality. Did you do this, Clump? Another technicality. Ian Grant is clearly winning this fight. Clearly winning this fight. Oh, and there goes the mouth guard again for the second time this match. Well, that's, that, that's a deductive point. Deductive point. The mouthpiece came out twice. I think that's the same mouth guard that fell out of the last boxer. But I'm not worried it. about coronavirus here. We're, we're not worried about here. It's Roche looking boxing. around. Roche looking around. And Roche now. This is back. nonsense. He got a chance to catch his breath. We throw in the towel. 